What's up guys? Welcome to Hinton University. So, you ready to make amazing videos and become the next biggest influencer, but you need a little help doing it. Do not fear. Professor Monique is here. <laughs> and I'm gonna be showing you how to edit like a pro in this complete editing tutorial that's beginner friendly. All right guys, so welcome back to Journey with the Hintons where we share tips and tricks and help, wealth, and life, and we have fun doing it. So if you just so happen to be new here, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button and join us on the journey. All right, so now that we through with the morning announcements, class is in session. I'm about to turn you into an editing pro in a matter of minutes. Not a good thing about this is the fact that I'm gonna be sharing with you an outline and some concepts that can be used on any software out there. This will be able to help you across the board. I'm not gonna even lie to you, you know I keep it 100 with y'all. It's some work. So make sure you're comfortable and ready to work. Now to answer one of your most frequently asked questions. I'm currently using Final Cut Pro, but I started this YouTube journey using iMovie. Now both of those are very, very good and beginner friendly. And guess what? iMovie is free. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I like free. So today I'll be using Final Cut Pro and a little bit of iMovie to show you how to edit. Let's get started. When I edit, I follow a format that I made up, but I'm sure everybody else does it. I just wrote it out. You open up Final Cut Pro. It'll have this new project tab down here. You select new project. We're gonna call this one trial today, and you hit okay, and bam. So now you have yourself an empty project that's full of possibilities waiting on you to make magic. And it's pretty much the same with iMovie. You open it up over here, you click create new, and then you click movie, same thing. Import and organize media. Media is your video clips. There's two ways that you can do this. You can either press this little beautiful arrow right here that's pointing down, and from there, you can select the files that's in your folder that you would like added to your project and you hit import selected. Now what that's going to do at that point is add it to your library. It is not officially in your project until you drag it into your timeline. Your timeline is this beautiful area down here and that's where all of the editing and all of the work is done. I like to do it to where I drag and drop it directly into my timeline. You're gonna go and get your folders where all your files are kept. You can select the file or multiple files if you want to, and then you can drag it and drop it into your timeline. I killed two birds with one stone. Why are we killing birds with a stone? I don't know. But anyway, I put my clips in order as I'm dragging and dropping them into my timeline so I don't have to go back and do that later, which saves us time. And when it comes to editing, you definitely want to save time if you can because it is a long, long, long process. Okay? So you gotta trim it down, trim it down, trim, trim, trim. It's usually done one or two ways. Now I always like the easier way, but I'm gonna show you some people think that it's easier to do it the other way. So what they do first is they go through and they remove their pauses first. That's those areas where you're not talking. How you know you're not talking? Cause it's gonna look like this. You'll have these little spiky lines here and that means that you're talking. But when it goes flat, like this area right here, that means you have stopped talking. And then after they remove that, they go back and they remove any kind of scenes where they were choking to death in the middle of a sentence, any kind of errors they made. If they were staring like a deer in headlight, like for some strange reason I was doing in this clip here, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Just any kind of mistakes you make and any kind of weird stuff you got going on in a video that day, that's what they remove next. By doing it that way, you're going through your timeline 
doing all the work, then going back through your timeline again to do some more trimming down and cutting. What I do, I do it all at one time. But how you trim down, you can do it one or two ways. You can do what I call the cut and trim. You take this playhead, that's this little beautiful line right here. It marks where you are in your video. You can drag it left or right and you'll drag your playhead to the beginning point that you want removed. To so make sure you're not cutting off any words or any scenes that you want included. What you can do is you can use the arrows on your keyboard to go left and right and that moves it frame by frame which is a very very small movement as you can see. And that's going to make sure that you get the exact point that you want to remove. So once you have it lined up to the point that you want to remove, you can press Command B if you have a Mac, or you can go to the top and you can press Trim, and then you select Blade, and that'll go ahead on and cut it at that point. From there, you can click on the edge of what you just cut, and you drag it to the end point of what you want removed. And if you overdo it, you can just drag it back a little bit. I prefer to do the double cut and delete. And that's because again, I like to put my playhead exactly at the point that I want removed. And then I use my arrows on the keyboard to go frame by frame. Press Command B again, and you select that clip that you want removed and press delete on your keyboard. Simple as that. And in iMovie, it's pretty similar. And here, it doesn't say blade, it actually says split clip. So you can right click and then you can select split clip just keep in mind that your trim down is extremely important and you want to make sure you're getting exactly what you need to remove because you don't want your clips to be choppy. You want each clip to transition smoothly into the next. You don't want your clips to come in the middle of a sentence or a letter to be cut off the word instead of saying don't you pick up at on't. So you want to be careful with how you're trimming and make sure it's really smooth. It takes some time but if you want the reward, then you're going to do the work. All right? But I'm going to help you get it. So once you've removed all of your imperfections and it's flowing smoothly, you're going to look at that video and you're going to think it's pure trash. And you're going to want to delete the whole thing. But don't do it. We're about to give your video some TLC. This is where you get to add all of your effects and your music. You want to do all you can to keep the attention of human beings. They like, for some strange reasons, just movement and strange things to pop up at them. But there is so much to talk about and to cover when it comes to effects. But for the sake of time, I'm going to cover the main ones that you need to get started right now and to make absolutely beautiful videos. To crop, you're going to select the clip you want and then you'll see this little box right here. You're going to click on that and then you'll select crop. And then when you do that, you'll get these three options that come up. You're going to select crop and then you'll get these four arrows that's around your video. Let's say for instance, we want to remove this orange ball right here. You can take this arrow and you can pull it up to crop that out. And then, voila, the orange ball is removed. It's as simple as that with cropping. You could crop as close as you want to where you're just looking at your face. If you want your face cropped, you could crop and just show this little YouTube play button. And over here in iMovie land, the box is the same. You're going to click on your crop button here. Make sure you select your crop to fill, and then you'll take your little edges and draw it in. There are two types of zooms that you can do. There's that slow zoom where it comes in and it goes to a particular area, or you have those sharp zooms where it just cuts quickly. A crisp zoom is the same as you do with crop. You're gonna select the part that you want to zoom. You'll hit this little button here for crop. You're gonna pull your little edges into the point that you want cropped, and then that's it. So what that'll look like when you hit play, you'll go from this right here to that quick zoom like that and it'll come back out. But some things to keep in mind when editing. The closer you zoom to a thing, the more you begin to lose the quality of your video. So you don't want to really overdo it. Now if you want to do a slower zoom, that's called Ken Burns. 
and you'll do it the same way you'll select your drop down for your crop you'll click Ken Burns and it's going to give you two boxes it's going to have a start and an end the start is where you want that clip to begin and the end is where you want that clip to end so let's see what that'll look like you see how that zoom went and it comes back out it's going to take some time for you to get used to doing crops and zooms but you just have to play with it and just know that you'll get better the more you do it so don't beat yourself down if you're struggling believe me when i say everybody on youtube started somewhere and they didn't come out the best of the best that came with practice b-rolls are just like your extra footage of random shots and that kind of helps you to tell the story better to help to increase the audience retention on a video all right so what's your b-rolls you'll find the point of the video that you want that b-roll to pop up if you want your b-rolls to cut to something while you're talking then you'll have to place your b-roll on top of the clip for where you're talking and while you're talking like it's going to cut this is what it'll look like i received and it was a present from my daddy thank you daddy <laughs> i got it if you have a point that you're talking and you want to cut before you say the next thing and show a b-roll then you could hit command b to split it and then you'll add your clip between those two things okay now where i get some of my b-rolls from i go to youtube so if i want to use that little video of this young man here, i highlight the url copy it then what i do i use this flvto.biz i bring it over into this box i press paste and then you want to change this to mp4 that's what's going to download it from youtube into a video and then you select convert your continue conversion online is going to download and then you select download then i'll go back over here and let's say after i said whatever i had going on here and then i want that little fella to just pop up <laughs> uh, I got so that's pretty much how you download videos i don't know if it's quite legal or not you know that's how some that's how you could get the popular stuff from off of YouTube. Y'all about to be some just who professionals, okay? If you want to put your video into sections and you want to title those sections and you just wanted to come up with a slide with the title of it, then what I do is I go up here to my where my titles and generators are. I select generator. Then I go to a custom generator. It's black. I drag it down here then I select the black custom clip I come over to the right side where this is called inspector where the inspector is and I select the down arrow next to the color okay so let's say I like to go with orange then the next thing I do I go back to my titles I get myself a basic title and I drop it down above the custom clip so I double click I go back over here to the title inspector which is in this side I highlight title and delete it and then I name it whatever it is that I want to name it you are a millionaire all right so then I'll drag the size to make it whatever size I want bigger smaller now if you want to change the font style there it's normal right now you'll select these arrows here you can either do 2d or 3d styles i usually do 2d and i do block because block is bolder as you can see i like that bold look and then you can also change the font as you can see you are mine i will go with that one and if you want to change the color of it again you'll highlight the entire thing go down here to face and then when this color selector comes up you click that down arrow and then you can change it to whatever color you want that's pretty much how i add title slides to it so iMovie you can do the same thing you just go to background you find your black background or whatever color you want let's go with orange you'll drop it down here you'll go to your titles again you'll pick whatever title you want and then you'll just drag you know drag it down the same way you're writing it and that's how that goes like that your music and your sound effects go beneath the video so 
there's this little tab here a music note you select that and this is where you're going to find your sound effects and especially sound effects that you hear that are commonly used like your bell transition you might hear that a lot you'll hear your you might hear that a lot you got your jingles on here like some some very very common jingles that you might hear under iMovie your sound is right here under audio so let's say we want to use this Elysium long you're going to click it drag it and drop it beneath your video okay and if you want to adjust the volume of it there's this little line here that's in it if you see it's at 0, 0.0 you can drag that down to decrease it you can drag it up the highest it goes is 12 and then another thing that you can do is you can fade out your music if you highlight over this little bowl here and then these double arrows pointing outward are going to pop up and you'll drag this back and then that will fade out your music you could do the same to the beginning to let it fade in another place that i suggest that you get your audio from is youtube has an audio library on there and you want to be careful with your music that's all i'm gonna say for now well would you look at this right here this is the video that you guys are watching right now and this is what my timeline for this video looks like with all of the overlays with the audio with all of those cut clips that i had to remove things i mean this is what a completed project will look like once you add all of your effects and everything so what you'll have to do at this point is do a final review and watch it completely look i'm still scrolling y'all so it was a lot that i did in this video and then once you're ready to save it and publish it you can either add it straight to youtube but i prefer to do apple devices 1080p and then you hit next and at that point it'll ask again what the title is and you hit save and once you hit save that's it all right guys so that's all i got for you today it was a lot of good information there's so much to this world of editing i just wanted to give you guys the basics to get started right now hopefully these things will help you let me know in the comments below if you found that this was helpful and if you guys want to see anything else if you want to know something specifically that i didn't share today drop it in the comments below we are trying to help you guys grow and go as far as possible and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe because we will be sharing many more videos to help you on YouTube we're getting ready to share our weight loss journey again we're getting ready to go shopping for some furniture for this new house we got a lot of good stuff coming up so you don't want to miss it but until next time guys thanks so much for watching see you later peace <laughs>